Nico Day, would you win a fight? Oh, here we go. Who would win a fight out of you two? Not a battle, an actual fight. Fisties. I reckon we'd both beat you up after seeing that slap. I think, yeah. so I think that's the most sensible way to answer that question. I'm going to avoid you two in the car park. <laughs> Victor, I've never heard of Professor Green to the song with Lily Allen. What is your history? Oh, that's a long That's, that's long. a really long answer. He's a rapper. Um, I was a feral child. Raised by wolves, I heard? No, they were koalas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my lifestyle. The end. Uh, hey, 60, would you come to Newcastle and do an under-18 show, please? Come yeah. On. Yeah, end of the year, definitely. Jade, Pro Green, are you going to come back to Perth? You are the best at future, hands down. That's a big compliment. Nice. Oh, that's very nice, thank you. Um, yeah, I would imagine so. Because uh, a lot of people, a big complaint in Australia, a lot of names uh, don't go to Perth. Mm-hmm. So Why is that? It's a big trip. It's like mm. another country away. Five hours. It's not. I mean, it's not it's, big by yeah, your standards at all. Say we, <laughs> but it's, it took us a little while to get over it. So <laughs> it's good five point. hours in the grand scheme of things isn't really too bad. Kaylee, three sixty. Could you please do a concert in Melbourne, but all ages? Can we just say we're going to do all ages in no, all over the country? Are, we are. We are next to the flying tour, which is check the website. <laughs> Jethro, sixty. You're my dad. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hope he's, hope he's old. <laughs> oh, Jethro, you could have a... Uh, you might have to pay him some stuff. <laughs> Child support. Uh, hey, right, Pro Green, come back to Perth. Kieran, how do you think Australian rap differs from US and English rap? This is... We'll go both of you. 60, what do you think about that? Um, Australian rap, to, I think they seem behind the times just a little bit, like no diss or anything like that. They stick to more traditional ways of making hip hop and shit, and uh, don't really like to branch out that much. That's how I see it. That's not cool. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know if that's how you see it. How do you see it? Australian, I'm not that, apart from yourself mm. and the hoods, I'm not really familiar with too much. Um, mm. I think the main differences or the most obvious differences between English, American and and Australian stuff that's true to where it comes from is, is mostly like the social references and the slang. You know, as long as people are not trying to imitate something that's done somewhere else or they're stuck in a time period by where they think that being real is a term that is, is thrown around far too often. And if you think that being real is imitating the golden era of rap music it's in exactly America, what I mean. then, then you're confused because mm. that's just trying to make something that was already done and was done better than you'll ever do it. So you'd rather than reflect the current situation and current yeah, times. and be innovative, push things forward, like don't be scared, I don't think you have to, to apply any kind of constraints to the music that you make. Awesome. Liam360, how did you start rapping? Um, I started rapping when I was about 14, I was into skateboarding and all my mates got me into hip hop and shit, and then we all started rapping and then it all went from there. Sweet. If you just joined us, we're live on the internet, um, so if you don't like swearing, turn off your computer because if you might slip through to the keeper. Uh, next question. Uh, okay. Who are you guys big superstars and do you drive fast cars? Victor. Tom. Thanks, Victor. I don't have a car. No car? That's a green. I drive my car quite fast, yeah. What sort of car is it? It's just a car. Okay. <laughs> like a Leyland or something. It's just a car. Just a car. Four doors. Uh, who are your favorite? <laughs> Todd wants to know who are your favorite footy teams 360 first? I'll go for the Pies. Uh, cool, and I suppose English Premier League we have to Yeah, if I had to pick a team master, I don't really follow football, that's tribalism. Could you get any perks, me? <laughs> I don't know what to try with. It's jet lag, man. It's jet lag. Could you get any perks at sporting events and stuff in England? Being, uh... Yeah, yeah, I, went to, um, I actually went to an Arsenal game where we beat Man U. That doesn't happen very often. Sweet. Uh, Dan Pop! Thank you, Dan Pop. 60, are you going to do any new tracks with Pez? Ah uh, yes, we've got two tracks on Pez's new album and uh, we're going to do an album together coming like in the next couple of years. Is that a promise? Promise. Sweet. Ronan. Thank you, Ronan. Oh, this is a bit cheesy, so I can understand if you guys, Professor Green, you don't want to do this. Can you do an Aussie accent and 60, can you do a UK accent? Nah. Nah. I don't <laughs> do two nines. I, I don't think I'd do it justice, to be honest. I wouldn't want to cause any more offence than I already have. Sweet. Uh, 60, who's your favourite singer, apart from yourself, because you're amazing? Bailey, thank you, Bailey. Uh, CeeLo. Sweet. Yeah. What about female? Um, Santa Gold. Oh, cool, sweet. Erin, TW, Pro Green, Melbourne or Sydney, which would you rather live in? Uh, 
um, mm, Melbourne reminds me a little bit more of London. Yeah, Sydney's a little bit more sterile. Uh, we, a lot of people spit chewing gum out in London, and there's a bit more chewing gum on the floor in Melbourne. So you're rather a bit it's dirty. Probably Melbourne, yeah, I prefer it a bit grimy. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly Lawler, Professor Green, you are a hottie. Is that rhetorical? <laughs> no, there's more. And you should do a tour other than future because you're a hottie and everything. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Kelly. I might do that. Victor, is it. Oh, this is a pretty. This is a 60 minutes type shit, this one. Victor wants to know Is there anything missing from your life, Professor Green? Uh, is there anything missing from my life? Um, Open up, friend. I'm trying to be. <laughs> Uh, Jessica Alba's had two children, so that's no. <laughs> Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Yeah, she's missing. <laughs> Rosie, I know she's watching. You're in. Kale Bellingson, hey sixty, can't wait to see you in Adelaide in June. What inspired you to? Actually, no, I avoided the, the deep one for you, sixty. Is there anything missing from your life? Um, no, everything's everything's perfect at the moment, eh? Hey? Yeah. Char Charlotte. Professor Green, have you tried Vegemite or Tim Tams while you've been here? Vegemite, is that anything like Marmite? Very similar, but a yeah, bit different. Won't be nah, trying it's, that. It's not like Marmite, is, is it? it? But it's, got, it's tangy, it's very strong. Mm. What kind of taste? Uh, what are we. Kind of like shit. Like yeah. metal? Like metal? Like yeah, coins? It doesn't sound like anything I'd enjoy. Mm. No, and I won't be either. I've had a VB, is that Australian? Is mm. that pretty Australian? It's no, pretty it's Australian. Quite, it's a yeah. cheap Australian. So. Really? Yeah, mm. it's, it's good cheap beer. Yeah, it was good beer. Oh, Phoebe, you're watching this. We're going to get so much beer for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, PG, Professor Green, are you collaborating with Example again anytime soon? Yeah, definitely. Sweet. Thank you for that. Uh, all right, we've got some other... Simon Kennedy, Professor Green, how long have you been singing? Well, uh, when did you get the inspiration and what inspired you? Why did you start? Why did I start? Um, I was just messing around. All my mates have been making music for years and I didn't really have any kind of creative expression. Um, I'm terrible at drawing and was never really, apart from listening to music, I didn't really have any aspirations to be an artist or that, but everyone was freestyling, I just got put on a spot, rapped a lyric, and everyone was like, you can rap, you know, they were more surprised than right. probably even I was, um, <laughs> but yeah, it just started there. Sweet. Uh, Simone Kennedy, Professor Green, uh, that's what someone just said. Joey Oliver, 60, are you bringing out any more snapbacks? If so, which ones? <clears throat> yep, we've got, uh, we've got about three or four new ones coming out. There's like a Mighty Ducks rip-off one, like a New York Knicks rip-off one. They're, they're all rip-off ones. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need a lawyer for that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good. Refer to know of it into me. <laughs> Todd Halliday, tell 360 that Cursor is the sickest. Nope. <laughs> Dominic Dale, uh, I can't wait to see you come together. Are you going to do some oldies, uh, not just falling and flying? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do some old stuff as well. Definitely. 